All right, new definition. Let the set X, together with some topology tau, be a topological space. A non-empty subset A of the space X is nowhere dense. in the space X, if and only if, the interior of the closure of A is the empty set. That is, the non-empty subset A is nowhere dense in the space, if and only if, there are no non-empty open sets contained in its closure. Now recall that a dense set is one for which every non-empty open set contains at least one point of the given set. So a true opposite of a dense set is one for which uh, every non-empty open set has no points in common with the given set. As an exercise, determine the validity of the following conjecture. And that conjecture is, if A is a subset of X and that subset is nowhere dense in the space, then for every proper open subset U of X, the intersection of that open set with the set A is empty. Now in topology, many of the uh, related concepts that we encounter are not true opposites, rather they are uh, complements of one another. Now, in the case of dense and nowhere dense subsets, this is not exactly true. The complement of a dense set is not always a nowhere dense set. For example, in the indiscrete space, the non empty proper subset. A and its complement are both dense in this space. However, the complement of a nowhere dense set is a dense set. And we will next prove this as a theorem. So let the set X together with some topology tau be a topological space.
the rather if the subset A of X is nowhere dense then the complement of that nowhere dense set is dense and the converse is true if that complement is open so proof suppose that the subset A of the space X is nowhere dense in the space, then the interior of the closure of the set A is empty. Now since the interior of the set A is a subset of the set A, which is itself a subset of the closure of A, and the interior of the closure of A is empty, so there are no non-empty open sets contained in the closure of A. The interior of A is an open set contained in the closure of A, and so the interior of A must be empty. And so the interior of A, which is the same as the complement of the closure of the complement of A, is empty. And so we have that the closure of the complement of A is the complement of the empty set, which is the entire set. And hence, the complement of A is dense in the space. So now suppose that the complement of A is both open and dense in the space, then as the complement is open, the set A is closed And so the closure of the set A is the set A. Now as the complement is dense in the space, the closure of the complement is the entire space X. And so the boundary of the set A, which is the intersection of the closure of A with the closure of the complement of A, is the intersection of the set A with the entire set, which is the set A. Now also, we have that the boundary of A is the closure of A set minus the interior of the set A, which is the set A set minus its interior. And so the complement of the interior of A in the set A is the set A. That is, the interior of A is the complement of the set A in itself, which is empty. And hence, the interior of the closure of the set A is the interior of the set A, which is empty. And thus, the set A is nowhere dense. In the space X.
Okay, so next we will prove that subsets of nowhere dense sets are also nowhere dense. It's proof. Let A, correction, let B be a subset of A, and let A, which is a subset of the space X, be nowhere dense. in the space X, then as the set B is a subset of the set A, which is itself a subset of the closure of the set A, we have that the closure of A is a closed set containing the set B, and since the smallest closed set which contains B is the closure of B, we have that the closure of B is a subset of the closure of A, Now, since the interior of the closure of B is a subset of the closure of B, which is itself a subset of the closure of A, we have that the interior of the closure of B is an open set contained in the closure of A. And since the largest open set contained in the closure of A is the interior of the closure of A. We have that the interior of the closure of B is a subset of the interior of the closure of the set A. Now as the set A is nowhere dense, in the space X, we have that the interior of the closure of the set A is the empty set. And so the interior of the closure of B is a subset of the empty set. And as the empty set is a subset of any given set, in this case, the interior of the closure of the set B, we now have set inclusion in both directions so that the interior of the closure of B is empty, and hence the set B is nowhere dense. In the space X. Okay, so next we will look at some examples. So let tau sub i be the indiscrete topology on the set X. And let the set A be a proper subset of the set X such that A is not empty, so a non-empty proper subset. We will look at the empty set, the non-empty proper subset A, and the entire set. We'll look at their closure and the interior of their closure. The subset, uh, the empty set is its own closure. The interior of the empty set is empty. For the entire set, it is its own closure, and the interior of the entire set is the entire set. Now for the set A, in the indiscrete topology, the only closed set which contains it is the entire set and uh, the interior of the entire set is the entire set. And so there does not exist a non-empty subset A of the space X such that the interior of the closure of that set is the empty set. And hence, there are no nowhere dense sets 
in an indiscreet space. Okay. So let the set X be countable. Let tau sub D be the indiscrete topology. And let the set A be a proper subset of the space that is not empty. And again, we'll consider the entire set, the uh, empty set and the non-empty proper subset A. We look at its closure and the interior of the closure. Now, in the end, rather in the discrete topology, every set is both open and closed. So the set A is its own closure, and the interior of the set A is also the set A. And so there does not exist a non empty subset A of the space X such that the interior of the closure of A is the empty set and hence there are no nowhere dense subsets in a discrete topological space. So next, let tau sub e be the excluded point topology on the set X with P the excluded point. And let the sets U and C be non-empty proper subsets of the space X such that the set U in the complement of C is in the topology. The closure of the open set U is the union of the set U with the singleton containing P. And so the interior of the closure is the original open set U. The set C is its own closure. And the interior of the set C is the complement of the singleton containing the point P in the set C. And so notice that the only uh, non-empty subset for which the uh, interior of the closure is the empty set is the singleton containing the point P. So the only non-empty nowhere dense set or nowhere dense subset of the space X is the closed set, which is the singleton set containing the point P. Okay. 